Check that body. Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, what we're going to do now is a continuation on from our previous tutorial with regards to uh, routing audio to external devices like compressors and effects units. Uh, what we're going to do now is presume that you do have a multiple output sound card and you want to leave your compressor uh, permanently wired in or effects unit. So press F4, open up our VST connections and you can see you've got inputs, outputs, group effects and external effects. So if we click on external effects, you can see here I've got a TCM 300 effects unit um, and I'm digitally sending information to and from with my send and return bus to that. What we're going to do is do an analog one for a compressor. So we're going to add external effects, call it compressor, and we can see we've got a stereo send and a stereo return. Click OK. What that does now is creates our send bus. So click these little plus and minus icons to open and close and you can see our send bus is not connected nor is our return bus. So what we need to do, uh, the same as in the last tutorial, is to now tell Cubase where we're sending the audio and where to look for the audio coming back in. So same as before, I'm actually sending out on analog 3 and analog 4 and I'm going to return in on analog 1 and analog 2. So that's it. Close that down. What we can do now uh, when we open up our mixer is let's just play the loop and turn it down a little bit. So there's our loop. What we can do now is actually go to our inserts and basically if you create any external effects this uh, folder will show up, external plugins. If we open that there's our compressor. So the beauty of that now is it's completely wired itself up we know where the signal's going, Cubase knows where to send it and look for it. Uh, the only other thing we need to do is basically press this little button here which measures the effects loop delay for delay compensation. So what this does is it sends a little signal um, out through the compressor and back in and it works out how long it takes. So click that, 0 0.73 and what this does now is uh, counteracts any delay and compensates for it. So so what I'm going to do now, you can already hear it's slightly different, so I'm just going to mess with the compressor settings and make it sound, uh, you know, completely over compressed so you can hear what's going on. There you go, I'm not trying to do anything, you know, right, I'm just basically letting you hear that it's going through the compressor and I'm manipulating some settings so you can hear it. Um, so now, let's say you are happy with that. What we can do is um, basically export that in. So file, export, let's do an audio mix down. Let's try that again, one second, there we go. File export, we'll call it test two. And what we'll have to do, because it is an analog external piece of equipment, is export in real time. But what I'll do is I'll just uncheck that and I'll click export. And there you go. External plugins is used. Audio mix down must be done in real time. Click OK. And there you go. And what, what Cubase does now is basically plays it as if it's playing your song. Don't worry that you don't hear anything. That's normal. And there you go. Once it's got to the end, let's click OK. And there you go, there's our compressed sound. As you can see, it's obviously massively different from our original. Um, obviously there's not as much gain, that's why it's not, not reaching the top just like this. But you can see there, the compression's working because there's no peaks, everything's completely flat. Whereas here, you can see there's a massive difference between these, these peaks, transients. So you can see the compressor's working, it's bounced it in, so, and that's your new compressed sound. Like I said, I've already got um, my TC Electronics um, effects unit 
So let's actually take the compressor off. Let's put the TCM on. Again, let's open that. There you can hear the reverb straight away. Let me take that other one off. So there you go, put some effects in and reverb on. So let's export audio mix down. Test three. And in theory, there's our new sound. So So you can see uh, a lot easier um, to have stuff permanently wired in. Of course, um, yeah, it's it's definitely definitely worth doing if you've got a multiple output sound card. Rather than having a load of outputs there sat redundant, why not plug a few pieces of equipment in, like an effects unit or a compressor or a external EQ unit, and uh, yeah, take it from there. So hope this has been uh, useful to you and don't forget like i've said uh, previously please do subscribe to my channel and if you've got any questions or there's anything specific that you would like to know about if i can help i'll uh, do a tutorial and uh, we can take it from there so until next time take care bye bye check that body